our V44.2 kit includes some pretty awesome carbon fiber parts. There's the shock towers, the battery braces, and then the most important part is the chassis. And what's interesting is that even though it's such a high-end kit, the carbon fiber is not uh, finished off. So we're going to have to go ahead and finish this off. So what you should do first is you should actually get yourself a nice ventilated work area and also have some sandpaper. I'm going to use two different types of sandpaper. I'm going to use a coarser grit sandpaper to sand it all the parts down and generally you would just kind of take your time with this part but also want you to know is that the carbon fiber is kind of messy too. It's a very dusty so try not to breathe in any of the carbon fiber. Also I would highly recommend using a respirator too as well. So just take caution when you're sanding down carbon fiber. Once you're down sanding down this step, I highly recommend watering everything down and and then move on to a finer grain of sandpaper. I'm showing you in this video the various parts that I'm working on, so be sure to sand properly sand down all your parts with the coarser grain sandpaper. Uh, then you know, go ahead and water down everything and this particular type of sandpaper I'm using is 600 grit sandpaper and it's uh, everything is wet so uh, just so you know this is the finer grain sandpaper so after I finish with the coarser grain uh, everything is wet after I water everything down um, then when I'm done with this step I water everything down again and then I dry everything off so just take your time with this step and you would you know have us kind of finer more refined edge so it's a little bit more of an additional work because you're using two different types of sandpaper and then uh, we're, we're using a wetting step and then but just you know take your time with that then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take CA glue and I'm gonna using CA glue I'm just going to go ahead and just put a drop here and I'm just going to seal the sides of the carbon fiber sanding. So then you just take a toothpick. Uh, some instruction manuals tell you to take a exacto knife edge, uh, and I find that when I use exacto knives, I, you know, I feel kind of bad when I use an exacto knife because I actually ruined the blade of my exacto knife, and I find that using a wooden toothpick creates kind of like the same kind of step. So, or, or the same overarching step and overarching results without me, you know, using up a carbon or using up an exacto knife blade. So, I highly recommend doing it this way. Overall, just take your time, be patient, and you would end up with a nicely sealed carbon fiber parts. Thanks for watching.